Well, hello and welcome to the next tutorial of this adventure creator thing. Um, this time we are going to make a map for our character to move in and I have taken the liberty of preparing this uh, little map for us. I made this piece in RPG Maker. So uh, you can do your maps in any like uh, program here. You could use the Unity uh, tile map uh, system, but I just prepared this for us because we are going to go through the adventure creator things for this thing. So I just took this in so we have to make sure that the compression is set to none and the filter mode is point no filter. With pixel art so just this that has to be done. And I have the top part of the map separately. So let's make that to be in the order of layer 100 and this can be minus 100. There we go. And usually what I do, just create an empty game object and have some sort of thing for our, all your objects that you're going to place into your map. Okay, and I have imported some these kinds of uh, sprites to use in our map. And hold on, let's go here. I'm preparing this map for my horror project. Um, it's gonna come out someday in the near future. And like this, I just want to place some custom things here. Let's have this light thing, because this seems like a fun idea to have a flickering light there. So that's why I'm placing it two times here. One with the light and one with without the light. Let's just set it so that it's it should line up with the uh, pixels here. Hold on, is my settings wrong here? I don't know. I guess that's fine. I just like them to like be perfectly set there. But that's besides the point right now. It's fine. Um, yeah. How about a door here? Like we have to get here, here. When we get into this map, we have to get through this door here. And then what we want to do is, if you want to add some objects that the character can actually walk behind, let's place one now. Like, let's say this box here. You have to want to have it follow the sorting map. Press edit mode preview, so the player will go behind it. There we go. And just as a reminder, this is just my workflow. Yours might be different, I don't know. But yes, I'm going to place some like trash around the place. Maybe like this, maybe maybe flip it around a bit. This seems like a very dirty place. Um, what else? Machinery? Maybe we can... No, that's too modern looking thing. I don't want it here. It's too clean. This is a dirty, dirty place. Hold on, does this even have all the... Oh, there was this machine thing. I want this here. Just to make sure that it goes above us. Let's go with the edit mode preview. I can move around it a bit. Mm. Some sort of water purifier or some kind of thing. This seems to be. Just put it here. I guess that's fine. Move that around a bit. And yes, this would be fun somewhere, but I don't have a fitting place for it, I don't think. Mm, let's see. I'd like to see if there's a valve that we can use for our thing here. I have an idea for this map. Okay, so I found ourselves a valve with this turning animation. So that's great. Um, and I add also added this particle effect here to show this like a uh, gas leak thing. So the point is here, let's go through our first action list thing here. So 
we want to add an hotspot 2D. Add new. Let's move it on the valve here itself. And let's resize this box collider. This is the activation area for this hotspot. Let's give it a name, valve. And let's add an use interaction. Player action, turn to face. That's what I usually use. Depends on the context. Action list editor. So here we want to, first of all, we don't have any like audios for this yet, but that's fine. We can do it without them. Um, let's choose the object, animate, use the sprites unity, play custom, use the valve that has the animation and here you write the name of the animation, valve turning. There we go. And then I guess we wait for like two seconds or so. Then we can return it to all idle and at the same time we can choose object teleport and we have the gas leak here just remove it out of the map it would be fun to make it like smaller first so let's see if we can do that i think it's possible because there's a transform if we want to transform an object, it has to be, have the movable, movable script. Now we can put it here and we translate to, no, we don't translate, we scale. I think this will do transition time like the same two seconds. Stop existing transforms value. Just transform it to zero. Hmm, I wonder if this will and then once it's done we teleport the gas leak out of the map and we also have to add should we go with a trigger I think that'll do let's add a trigger and when we place the trigger here on the gas let's make it smaller I think that's about fine. Let's edit that. And when the character walks into it, let's have it say something. Play speech. Uh, gas is too hot. I can't get through here. Okay. Then let's add a marker 2D. There we go. Just move it here. Move the character, move the point, is player, select your marker that you just placed. Don't use pathfind. If you're not using the pathfind thing, it will automatically just work, work to this uh, pathfinding uh, like nav mesh, but we're not using it. So let's not use that. Wait until finish and that should do. And then in the same hotspot that we made, all the interactions go into this subfolder here. And in this same thing, we can add, make the trigger disappear. Move it also to the off screen marker. And once that's done, we can get through here. Let's see if it works. Okay, this is our little, oh, I haven't added any like colliders yet. But let's just test if this works. Guess it's too hot, I can't get through here. Okay. That's fine. It, I think it goes a little bit too far into the gas. So let's just move it like down here. Let's not let the player actually walk into the gas and just stop there. Okay. Now, if we turn the valve, does it do the thing that I want it to do? Yeah, it goes smaller and then it disappears. That looks so good. Okay, I just have this like, I have to this allow the reuse of this hotspot. So let's also do that. 
So teleport the hotspot to the off-screen marker. I'm teleporting this out of the screen. That's what the 2D tutorial for the Adventure Creator did, the official tutorial, and that's what I'm doing. I think if we would delete everything, it could cause some problems in saving and stuff like that. Maybe I'm not entirely sure, but that's what we're doing. Okay, um, but I'd like to have the effect like we turn like for a half a second and then it starts going down. Let's not wait the full two seconds and then yeah. Okay, and while we're here, let's go into the collision groups. Let's add an empty game object. It's in the center. Physics 2D, make an edge collider. Just move it to the edges of where you want to allow the player to move to. I'd rather use the edge collider instead of just box colliders because they uh, block the interactions. I'd have to, if I used those box colliders and such, I'd have to make sure that every single collider had the, their layer to be different. So I don't have time for that, so let's not do that. Okay, make sure we can't get into the water. And move it here and here, and let's do a little bit of block that thing here. Okay, I think I'm also gonna move the player to start 2D a little bit down. We came downstairs from somewhere in this map. Okay, now we can't get into the water. Looks good. Says it about the gas. If we got to close enough, yeah, we can get through here. Okay, then we start turning the valve. Oh yeah, I need to add so that the uh, valve is actually turning all this time. So let's move this idle sprite to the end. There we go. Okay, save, play. Then let's see. Let's start turning the valve. It goes down and there we go. It stopped. That's perfect. I could add a little bit more of the Collider there and here also, so we can't get too close to these things. But now we're free to move on. And that's like the tutorial for this thing, I mean. We created like our first map here to move in. That's like, uh, I didn't cover that too, too much because that's like, uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of map you do. I wanted to more focus on the, the adventure creator part of this tutorial. So I like, we will probably later on, we will go more into depth with action lists. There's just so many of these here, so we can't cover these all in one video, but this was the most basic like, action list thing, we use these node things and just make different things happen. And I think this effect looks pretty cool and I think I'm gonna add this to my horror game, this part. So it's quite fun. But anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.